Hello everybody, so today we're going to be going into um, the operator and talking a little bit more about it. Um, so I'll open up an instance right here. When you first open it up, you're going to be making uh, like this sound here. It's an initialized patch, you'll be making a sine wave. Um, now you can change the actual waveform in operator uh, through the, um, the, the middle display, which is your envelope display. And there's this little option that says wave, and then here you click it, a drop down a drop down menu will pop up, and you can choose your sine wave, your saw wave, square wave, triangle wave. Um, uh, then on the left side over here, you have you can adjust the, the pitch frequency um, by using the core by adjusting the course and fine. Um, course is more of like a, a of a ratio of harmonic, and while the fine is more like a the, the pitch is affected just by fine 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 tuning. Um, so also another thing to to um, to think about when you're making sounds in, in the oscillator uh, is the four I, the four uh, parameters, which is attack, decay, sustain, and release. These are your volume envelopes that will control how your sound um, is 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 coming in. Um, so attack is basically the, the the amount of time it takes for your sound to come in. So if you play it right now, I hold it. It's gonna like it's gonna make a, a it's gonna play it one time and, and just disappear. But then and as I increase it, the longer it takes for it to reach its peak. And then after that, as soon as it reaches its peak, it's gonna just like die out. Um, now the decay uh, will control. Um, the the peak value to sustain value, um, so because we have no sustain value, it's just gonna it's just not it's really not gonna be noticeable that much. But if I'm holding it, it's gonna last longer, but still fade out. And the shorter it is, the shorter it's gonna uh, decay there. And sustain controls uh, how long uh, the level reaches until the end of the decay stage. So if we just jack it all the way up, it's gonna sustain the note. Um, and then the release is going to control how long uh, until it reaches the end value. So it's how long it takes to trail off, or how long it will trail off for. So I increase it. I increase the decay time a little bit. If I just tap it once, it's going to hold on for a lot longer. Um, now the the really informal way to look at it is your attack is how long it takes for your note to come in. Um, the decay is how long it's it's held for in relation with the sustain, and the release it's is the overall is the um, the trailing off time if you want to look at it that way. So those are the four uh, parameters that are uh, pretty important when you're looking at your, um, your, your how your sound is going to be uh, coming in. It's your volume envelope. Um, I'm going to get back into the the waveform. So you can choose your, you can change the waveform right now. Uh, we have the sine wave playing right now, but we can change it to any one of the options here. So we have saw wave, square wave, triangle wave. Uh, we're going to leave it at the saw wave, and you can adjust it further and to further customize your sound. Uh, there's a waveform editor at the top here, and these little bars uh, affect the different frequencies of your sound. So if you draw it in, you can ch you can see the changing of your waveform there, and now the sound is going to sound like this. So drastically different from from the saw wave that we had originally there, and you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it through this um, alone. Um, the second way you can really make really interesting sounds is by adding a second oscillator. So you over on the left side you have A, B, C, and D oscillator. Um, just by turning up the levels, you can uh, bring in another oscillator on top. Let me increase the sustain a bit here. And the way that they're actually uh, that they're coming that they're going together right now is that the orange is feeding into the yellow, and the blue is feeding into the green, and orange is feeding through all of them into the yellow. And you can see that on this side here. This is your algorithm, um, and it, operator has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, really? <laughs> eleven algorithm patterns. I never really counted it before, um, and they all change how the oscillators are routed into each other. Um, for, for so you can actually make some really crazy sounds uh, just by tweaking out uh, the patterns like this one here. The green and blue and orange B, C, and D are all going to be feeding into uh, the yellow, um, but 
for the tutorial, we're gonna just do the last one. All of them are gonna be running uh, independently of each of one another, and we're gonna change the 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 waveform to a saw wave. So, so we just have a really um, kind of like just a, just like a buzzy, a really buzzy saw. <laughs> um, then next thing we're gonna go over is the LFO. Uh, on the right here, you have your LFO, your filter, your pinch envelope, uh, your time. Your your and your tone. Um, when you're running your oscillators independently, like we are right now with this algorithm, the tone it really doesn't affect anything. Um, but normally it will affect like the the timbre of your sound. So the higher it is, that affect the higher frequency. Uh, I'll just show you real quickly. Yeah, um, that's a, that's a whole other. Um, crazy little parameter there. You can make some really nice bass patches too. <laughs> um, but for the LFO, uh, what you want to do is just turn it on. And uh, well, actually, the LFO, to explain the LFO, I'll explain the filter first. Uh, now, the filter is just like actually like um, the auto filter in in your um, in the effects rack. If you bring it in, um, you can't really see it right now. But if you bring it in. It's going. It has the same uh, filter as your frequency, so you can cut off. I'm, I'm actually adjusting. I opened up an instance of the uh, the auto filter in case you're wondering. Whoopsies! But if you do the same thing, you can adjust it here too. And you can control the filter type uh, in this drop menu here. So you can go from low pass, band pass, to high pass. Um, if you're doing a high pass, and then if you want to do a band pass. So get some really crazy um, options there, and then, like like the auto filter, you have your frequency filter, and you have your resonance, uh, your filter resonance there. So th those are the two main parameters. This is the LFO, and you have your choices of your rate uh, here. Um, the LFO range can be adjusted in the middle section here. So there's high, and there's also sync. Sync will give you a um, like a set. A, synchroni a synchronized uh, rate, so it's going to be like 16 notes, 8th notes, and quarter notes, and so on. And just by adjusting the amount, you can control how um, how much of the oscillation is going to be going further. Now, um, right now, when we go into the uh, when we look at it right now, the LFO is actually uh, modulating the the pitch of the A, B, and C, D oscillator. So if we so you notice that when it's right now it's it's kind of just messing with the actual free, like the pitch of it. If we turn say we turn the B down, B is gonna make its own. Uh, it's gonna hold its tone while A is gonna be going up and down. Uh, it's gonna be oscillating. So if you want to affect the filter, we just have to t click this filter option here. And now you can get that um, that wub wub <laughs> that good old wub wub <laughs> uh, by adjusting the rates here and the amount. You can control how much of it you want. And again, you, it has the same parameters as the attack the case, the same release. So you can control how much it comes in or how long it takes to come in. So if we leave it for one second. So that that's why you'll see that the attack decay and sustain and release those those key those four principles are, are going to be important when you're, you're in when you're taking your sound design to the next level. Um, so after we have that, I'm just gonna leave it off for now. Uh, you can also so right now we have the the the, the waveform that it's making is is a sine wave. But if you click this drop down menu here, you can change it. So you can go from a square to even a triangle and a saw, uh, saw wave up and a saw down. And that's what we're, I think is what we're, what we're gonna go for for the song here. It's kind of like a stabby effect. Um, and that's just one way that you can make the stab effect. You can actually do it uh, a number, of, a couple of ways um, in the operator, um, just by turning that down. And then now that's 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 one way to kind of um, just to go through it. But if you want to do it another way, um, you turn the LFO off without having to rely on the LFO. You can just go through the filter here and turning up your envelope all the way up to a hundred. This will now open up. Um, your envelope to the attack to case sustain release. So whereas it was just like this, 
you play the note this is just this is working like an auto filter just by itself but if you turn up the 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 envelope now it's going to be playing uh, whatever is your, your your envelope settings are so it's based off of your tactic cases in release so now we get that that stabby effect um, again you can actually go through your oscillator and tweak it out that way too um, so if you don't want to use the filter at all you can just adjust it through here Oops, just like that um, but it depends on how much you want to control your sound and how much um, you, you want to go like it just it all, it all, all depends on the situation but those are the, the couple of ways you can go through it you can make the you can change the um, the sound through the, the 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 envelope through the oscillator itself um, by going through the LFO or the filter um, by turning on the envelopes and adjusting them there. Um, so that's one way to do it. And then you can also, if you want to have it repeating like the LFO, there's this loop option in in um, in your parameters here. Just click sync and adjusting it the repeat there. And it'll it'll it will go wherever you set it at. So if you click sixteenth notes, or if you want to adjust it to, uh, you click it and you slide upwards. You can adjust it to whatever timing you want. Um, I think we'll set it to just eight right now. Uh, we'll lower the octave down a bit. And so for the song, um, what I had in mind, uh, this is what we're playing right now. Uh, I'll increase this. You also, sorry, you have the spread as well too. So just widen up the sound a little bit more. Turn the resonance down. And increase. And you also have the option to shape your sound a bit more too. So you have in this option here, this is in your filter. Uh, you have off, soft, hard, sine, and four bit, and those are all change um, uh, the the wave your wave shaping the curves of it. So you go to soft. It's a little bit more. And then we go to the, the, the hard, it's a bit more aggressive. And then sine. And then 4 bit. You get a lot of really crazy sounds just by um, uh, messing around with the, uh, the shaper in there. Hey guys, sorry the tutorial got cut short there at the end. Um, I just figured I'll be cutting it up into uh, two parts. So the next video is going to be coming up in the coming days. And um, yeah, just, just subscribe for the updates. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter or anything like that, I'll be posting updates there too. Um, so, bye!